Imagine having a mobile that doesn't have the ability to talk to computers on the internet. You couldn't do a Google search. You couldn't send and receive mail. As time has gone on, more and more devices have shown up on the net. They too need to have addresses as well. So the internet was designed in 1973 and launched in 1983. And in that time frame, we thought it was an experiment. So we allocated address space, sort of like telephone numbers, sufficient to define 4.3 billion termination points in the internet. Now I can tell you in 1983 that seemed like it would last forever, but remember it was an experiment. The thing is that the experiment never ended. In 1996, we designed a different format for internet packets called IP version 6. It has 128 bits of address space. Translating that, it's 3.4 times 10 to the 38th addresses. Okay, I'll translate again. 340 trillion, trillion, trillion addresses. There are already 5.5 billion mobiles in the world. If they all had internet addresses, it would exhaust instantly the IP version 4 address space, which as I said before, is only 4.3 billion addresses. So 16 years later, not only have we run out of IP version 4 address space, but we're also now absolutely compelled to implement the new one so we can continue to grow the network. If we don't implement, what will happen is that the version 4 address space will exhaust. People will not be able to get onto the net because they won't have addresses to use. And at that point, the internet stops growing. If I had known in 1973 what was going to happen in 2013, I would have insisted on a much larger address space that we wouldn't have to go through this transition. On June 6th this year, we are all, Google and others uh, on the internet, are going to turn on the IPv6 capability. And that is the launch of the new, larger internet.